Ashike, who is an engineer from ESCOM, who has benefited from Ugalong. Hi. Thank you very much. This is really such an interesting and brilliant initiative. And I think so many times we sit back when the matric exam results come out and wonder how have we got to this place? And we always have that ambition. I'm going to do something different. Maybe I can tutor, maybe I can sponsor, but you guys have actually gone out and done it. So Ndadim Komazi, talk to me about the, the beginnings of Kudlono. Uh, thank you very much. And Good uh, morning to all uh, our listeners. Um, Kutwano Center for Math Science and Technology started way back in 2005. We are now 14 years old. Next year we'll be turning 15. We started um, with one center in Dobsonville, Soweto in 2005. And over the 14 year period, the Promise program that we are running as Kutwanong has grown enormously. And we have managed to accelerate the performance of over 22,000 learners uh, since the inception of the program to do very well in math and, and science. And we provide extra tuition in math and science uh, starting from grade 10, we move with learners to grade 11 and in grade 12, and then over and above that, uh, the learner support program. We also have the career pathing program that is making it a point that the learners are introduced to or exposed rather to uh, careers, especially in your uh, STEM field, your science, technology, maths, and engineering. And then we also have the alumni program so that by the time they complete their metric with those good results in math and science. We go to universities today to have got about 16 university chapters across the country wow. where our students are there. And then they continue with the program, supporting one another, mentoring one another. And then that is why I've got even uh, two of uh, those students uh, today, this morning. But mo uh, most importantly, we also do teacher development yeah. because in all the areas that we operate at, we make it a point that uh, teachers are well developed because for you to be able to provide such an excellent service you need yes. teachers who are well dedicated teachers who are prepared week in week out so on a weekly basis we do develop our teachers who are in the program on a weekly basis but uh, beside our teachers in the district where we're operating we conduct content workshops where we focus on the pedagogical content knowledge as well to make it a point that the teachers they are well clear about the subject matter and so forth. So we do that in all these districts throughout the year. I'm curious to know about the response from teachers, because one would imagine once you go through your graduate program and you become a teacher, um, of course, the thirst for knowledge is always there. But yes. I'm very curious to know what their response has been to um, upskilling them, so to speak. Very positive. Yes. And we, we are... Every day we are even getting a lot of uh, calls to say, come to our area and come and develop our teachers. Because our teacher development is not just uh, going there and then the whole day handing out maybe documents and so forth. We engage with them in terms of the subject matter, the pedagogical content knowledge. So it's a, it's a very, very intensive program. Hence, we are able to, to be producing even these kinds of results that we are talking about. That's quite and amazing. To be honest with you, like even when you give the statistics of 2018 alone, mm. but over the 14 year period, we have seen learners who have uh, moved uh, through the program about 22,198. Those are learners who got 50% and above in math and science, with around 6,492 of them getting distinction in math and science. And these are learners coming from township and rural schools uh, only that we are assisting. So is this you, Keledzo? Is this you, Tsepang? Yes. You are those ones. <laughs> yes. All right, so let me start with you, Tsepang, because I imagine that you graduated from this program a, 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 a few years ago, right? Whereas, whereas um, uh, Keledzo, you're, you're just starting out your university journey. So Tsepang, tell me a little bit about your background. Where do you come from and how did you get involved with Granol? Okay, I am from uh, the... Um, Sorry, Kempton Park. Mm. Um, 
I joined the ProMet uh, program in Dobsonville in 2010. That's when I started my career. With the aid of ProMet, I managed to uh, pass my matric with four distinctions. Jeez, girl. Uh, I managed to yes. attain uh, above 80% for both math and science. Brilliant. Then with that, I was able to acquire the correct uh, APS to be able to enter into university. That's when I started my career as an in engineer. I studied metallurgical engineering. Metallurgical at, engineering. Yes. Explain which one that is. <laughs> <laughs> That's more like um, the processing of ores from ah, the mines okay. and yeah. So yes, I studied metallurgical engineering at the University of Pretoria. And during my university years, I was also part of the ProMet Alumni Executive Committee. Which means what? You which what? means that uh, we connect the uh, fellow Kupranung students come together, connect, empower each other, support each other throughout the career, our journeys in university. So we are there to assist each other, tutor each other, mentor each other throughout the, our journeys in university. Yes. That's brilliant. So successful applications to get into university, mm -hmm. but I also believe that there are many positive stories that come from successful applications for bursaries. Yes. Were you one of these students? Yes, yes. I remember at Kutlanung they also offered us um, not only applications for university, but uh, applications for different companies yes. so that you can apply for bursaries. And Sabang, you, you got this as well. Yes. Uh, sorry, Kelitzo, you got this as well. Yes, I also got this as well. Brilliant. Tell us a little bit about your background. Well, I come from Katlehong and I was a former Fumana Lena. And then when applying, Kutlanong applied for me. I didn't oh. apply at UJ. And then UJ took me for civil engineering. Wow, and thanks girl. to Kutlanong now, I'm doing civil engineering at UJ. What were your, your maths and science results before you met up with Kutlanong? I won't lie, I was a master of maths. Okay. And then as for science, wow. <laughs> I love that. Was science tough? Science was really tough. It was not balancing. <laughs> it didn't make sense. But Immediately when I joined Kutlanong, my marks balanced okay. both math and science. That's brilliant. And so what are your goals with your civil engineering? Where would you like to see yourself? Well, with the world changing and us approaching, well, now we're more like part of the fourth industrial revolution. Absolutely. So with what I know from civil engineering or me, what I'm learning, I, wanna, I, want, I want civil engineering to be able to get into the fourth industrial revolution gotcha. because most of the things now that we're doing we're doing them manually rather than using technology so if us as civil engineers can take technology and make it part of our career that would be brilliant that's brilliant building to scale modeling the the actual like measurements of how things work that is very very interesting so um congratulations to both of you Yelezo and yeah, Sebang I think that this is very remarkable and I like that your ladies too. I like that very much. But for all of our students, boys, girls, gender non-conforming, um, how do we find Kutlanong and what assistance does Kutlanong need? Um, Kutlanong, uh, if anyone, uh, for example, maybe is corporate, maybe CS division or any professional, if they want to contribute to the work that Kutlanong is doing for the country, they can visit our website www.kutwanong.org and then that is where they will find all the information in our website and then the kind of support that we need right now we because we are very small in terms of the numbers that we're assisting even though the impact is huge but had we uh, got uh, big numbers mm. across the country where we can have uh, more corporate funding and so forth coming on board. I think that is where we'll be able to make even the bigger impact that the country is uh, is needing right now, especially in the area of uh, mathematics and physical sciences. How do we get hold of you? You get hold of us uh, uh, at 010-443-8743. That's the number 0104. 438743 or else they can visit our website www.kutwanong.org that is where we have got more of the information fantastic in the, uh, well website. listen i know that um each one teach one works and i 